Hello from Wartour Studios. Right now it is 9 p.m. and we are recording this video especially for you to give you additional information about life in Turkey. So today we will be talking about six apps that will make your life easier in Turkey. You don't need to go to government office thanks to e-government. You can obtain many documents about yourself as e-documents and it is considered complete, completely official. Which public transport do you use when traveling to a place in the city? All you have to do is go to the move it app, enter the start and final points and decide on the recommend journey options to initiate your journey. Tickets for all events you are looking for are here. Hello everyone, this is Sheriff Burger. Today we are again here with a great topic. In fact, this week's topic seems it is more functional to foreigners who prefer to stay here longer than a tourist who comes to visit for three days. It's a little different from the app video we shoot earlier. In the previous video, we discussed the most common and useful Turkish applications that will make your life easier. You can view the link in the description and also check out our previous application video. Today, I would like to talk about six great applications that will make life easier. Number one, Move it. Our first application is the Move it application that we mentioned at the beginning. Thanks to the application, you can easily see how to find your destination. Moreover, you can see the average arrival time it's a great application to find the fastest and right option in a place like Istanbul, where there are many different public transportation options such as metro, metrobus, marmaray, bus and minibus. Let's go through an example together. We are now in our office. I will open the application from here. Right now we are in the Move It app. I'm located currently we are in Vadi Istanbul and let's say I would like to go to Zorlu Center and I click Zorlu Center search routes and it's giving me multiple options the fastest is 34 minutes it's telling that uh, go to metro station and it will take 34 minutes to reach and Walk to Wadi Istanbul, Havarai, from Havarai, go to metro station Fort Levent, take M2. It's explaining, by the way, everything in detail and give you minutes. This is great. So, move it, you can use it on your life in Istanbul. Second app is actually two apps. One is Tic Tac, the other is Move. These applications are car rental applications. It is very easy to rent a car thanks to the Tic Tac and Move. All you have to do is enter the application, find a suitable color around you and after renting and using it, you can take pictures of its surroundings and leave it where you got off. So this is a short term and not even daily, hourly, minutely, you can rent this car and use it uh, and leave it wherever you are it's for supermarket needs, anything. You, you don't need to purchase a car and you don't have to contact someone. After scanning the QR code on the vehicle, you can start using the vehicle by making a payment. Third app, Biletix and Paso. By the way, Paso is more for football things and Biletix is more on the concerts and the events, but both of them is doing the both things sometimes. We can say that all applications that share the third rank. Biletix and Paso, event ticketing applications, it is possible to find as many activities as there are in Turkey in these two applications. I recommend you to download both because although many events are announced in both, sometimes some events may not be available in the other. You can browse all the events from these two applications and buy a ticket for an event you like here. Let's see what upcoming events we have. I'm getting into these applications. Let's get to Biletics. I also use sometimes. Right now, 7th of April, there's a concert, Aydın Evler, there's theater, BKM, Mutfak, Alice Musical, there will be, I'm getting Alice Musical, and the ticket for 4th of April, general sale, 
VIP is 500 lira, which is like uh, 30 dollars. You can get the ticket immediately right now and go to the event. So Biletix is also like this. The fourth one is Gurupanya. Gurupanya is another application. It's not a local application, of course. It's an application that is already used in many parts of the world. But I would like to point out that it is widely used in Turkey. For those who don't know, let's talk a little bit about its feature. Again, it is possible to find activities in this application, but Grupanya is an application that provides more daily services with discount. For example, if you want to go to massage, spa, sauna, or rent a house, or want well care service, the application offers you these services at a discount. In addition, the discount rates are not too few to be underestimated. Fifth app is eDevlet. Upcoming apps are related to governmental issues. If you have obtained a residence permit or acquired Turkish citizenship, pay attention here because that type of application does not exist in the United States or any developed country in Europe. The government application is defined by the government to your identity and you can obtain almost all the official documents you need thanks to the application. There is even a section showing your school transcript traffic ticket, credentials, family pedigree, when you will retire, and any insurance payment paid out by this time. All information of the person is available here, and you can provide this information when necessary. If you have a residence permit or have already acquired Turkish citizenship and do not know about e-government application, we recommend you to download it as soon as possible. And sixth, last app is MHRS, MHRS. Our last application is about health. Short-term travelers may not need this application as they have private health insurance. But there is a great application for long-term travelers. Turkey is, by the way, by far best health system holding country in the world. Thanks to the public application known as MHRS, we can make an appointment from state hospitals regarding the department you are having trouble with. Get a vaccination appointment and see your past examination results. If you have an e-government account, you can also log in with your e-government account without creating any new registration. So today, I try to explain you. Six different applications will make your life easier from renting a car to using public transportation to getting event tickets and lastly using e-government and e-health system. If you have any questions about these applications or if you have any opinion that I missed to explain and about these applications, please comment under the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get these kind of informations again. Thank you for watching. The broker is out.